Hello everyone and welcome to Plugin of the Week. Point Blank live weekly broadcast from our new facilities in London uh, and we're live in the hub. Uh, we've just finished having a quick break and uh, students are back into the classrooms. Uh, I believe we've got sound engineering going on in two today. We've got music composition in one. We've got lots of students practicing in Studio 3 today, uh, practicing singing and we're getting re their performances ready for the end of the term. Studio 4 DJing, radio in 5, production in 6, and music composition in 7. So, lots of things, all the studios are full today, lots of things are going on. So, we are back this week for our plugin of the week. And there's a plugin that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of has been free over the last weekend period for both Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, and it's a plugin from Santo, it's called Tremolator. Uh, it's an amazing plugin. Uh, it's one of those plugins that you know uh, really works on many, 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 many di different kind of sources: audio, sound, guitar, piano, etc., synth, etc. Uh, the reason I wanted to show it to you today is because uh, it's still free today until uh, EST time, I believe, or PST. So check um, just in case. Go on the website, get it now if you haven't already done so. Uh, the plugin, I think, has been around for a while, but. Um, Amazing that it's free, you know, it's the full version, it's not like a, a small cut down version, it is the full full version. So let's have a, a, a quick listen, I've put something very quickly together, uh, and, and so we can go after that through the features. So I've got a couple of drums, uh, some kind of string stabs that I've played about with, and, and then we've got this synth. It's kind of simple, seen from Jupiter 8, uh, but... And that's Tremolator that does the... So you see, what we ended up having uh, as an effect on, on that particular track, it's not so much the, the kind of tremolo effect that we all are all used to. You can create effect way beyond the normal tremolo effect, you know, that we expect to hear. I mean, tremolo have been around for a long time and obviously comes from guitar amp, um, Fender Rhodes, Verlitzer, uh, piano, Vox, AC30, um, some lots of Fender's amp, Fender's amp, guitar amp. All those have classic uh, tremolo effect that are, have become part of their sound. Uh, in a synth, the way you would emulate normally a tremolo effect would be with an LFO. And a tremolo is basically an LFO modulating the volume of a sound. That, that's pretty much how it is and makes it up and down. So what I've done to illustrate here, I, I've used the same chord I had on the synth. With a simple, I wanted some long notes to, to, to show what we could do. Um, so that, that's a, a very simple Fender Rhodes, and, and obviously a Fender Rhodes have its own tremolo, uh, as you can see here, you know, uh, and you set up the intensity. But the reality is that on those, on those effects, typically on a tone loves but you know you can usually set up the tremolo as a rate, how fast, and and uh, the intensity, you know, how much there is to it. So what we're going to be doing is turn off the tremolo on the amp on the roads, and we're going to insert our friend tremolator. So uh, I'm sorry, it's here, here it is, and by default it comes on the default preset. So let's have a look at a couple of features. You've got the rate, and the rate, obviously, you can either sync it, and it, the rate shows when you don't sync it with MIDI clock, you shows in BPM. Otherwise, as MIDI clock, it syncs to your host straight away. See, straight away, it's in time, no matter what. So we've got the depth, and the depth is very much how much intensity has a tremolo, so with none, you're not hearing it effectively. Kind 
kind of cool. And then we've got the groove, feel and accent. And um, I think to explain those, to show you what those are doing, the best ways to open the, the tweak. Don't, don't pay attention to any of that for now. Just look at the wave display here to see what the groove does. And the groove goes from, if you go into minus, you go into shuffle. That means it's bringing the LFO slightly before, or we swing slightly after. Because the track has some swing, a little bit of swing like that could really work. And it's really good having the usual feedback here at the bottom. Now, the fin, and for those of you who use uh, Sound Choice plugin, you're probably familiar already with those uh, groove and fin. Pretty much a lot of the, uh, even Echo Boys ha ha has it in terms of how you set up the groove and fin of the repetition delays. Uh, here, the fin, effectively, it's, you've got the pocket, which is, you know, your one, two, three, bang on the time, and, and, and it's how the tremolo plays either in front of the pocket or after the pocket. As a, you, you guys who, who play drums will we, we understand what the pocket is, is effectively that portion where it's on time, it's in time. I'm rushing it a little bit, and here I'm making it laid back. Kind of rushing it here would work better, I feel, because it's just gives it a pulse to the track, keeps it going, keeps the movement going. So I think it would work better, for example. Uh, but as you've noticed between the difference between groove and feel is that the feel moves the entire modulation, whereas that only moves the actual LFO. So it, it, it's kind of, they, they work differently. And then another cool thing is the accent. With the accent going towards maximum, Keeping the first at the beginning of each trigger, uh, and uh, and everything is being toned down in intensity. And here's the opposite. So the first one is literally brought down in, in, in volume. So it puts an accent. Again, really useful in terms of getting some just interesting, interesting things going on. Uh, I mean, modulation is great to give movement, rhythmical movement to a sound, you know. And you can use them in, in very subtle way, like you do on the road, on some guitar sometimes. They don't have to be very accentuated. It just gives that kind of really subtle movement. Or you can go completely crazy and go really radical with it. Um, and here you've got some shape for the LFO underneath here. So you see here we've got sine waves, trapezoid, ramp down, and then you've got a bunch of presets here. Uh, all very, very interesting stuff. Um, I mean, basically what some toys have done, they've analyzed a lot of tremolo from a lot of classic devices. So for example, the Verlitzer. Uh, and I believe the Verlitzer is in there. So let's go to preset. I'm pretty sure the Verli is in there. Or, or there used to be one anyway. Um, I'm not seeing it, but uh, I'm sure I had seen it at some stage, so maybe it's in this one here. Uh, but ne never mind. I, I think the, the, the idea is they've, uh, they have sampled, and if you look in the presets underneath here, you, you'll see some uh, classic, uh, classic ones here. So yeah, you, you see that you've got the Verlitzer, the Dan, Dan Electro, Dan Electro are kind of pedals. Uh, Fender, the, the Vibro Lux, is, is a guitar amp. So let, 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 let's have a look quickly. Uh, so you see here is the Verlitzer. Very different shape from the one we had before. Uh, and if we look now, another classic, let's say the, 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 the Fender Vibro Lux. Again, very different shape. It's a road, so let's go with the Verlitzer to see. So really, really interesting, uh, the fact that you can have those shapes as well. Uh, that, that for me is really making it a different because that means suddenly you can emulate all of those different modulation effects. Uh, here underneath, very simple, is in addition to the right, when you're locked in, obviously here I'm locked. And here I can change the, the rhythm. It's on the one fourth, an eighth. 16th, 32, 64, and 
Okay, about an, over an entire bar, eight bars, four bars, two bars, one bar. Let's keep on with the eight. And, uh, okay, so that, that's the basic effect of it. And you can see here, by, without tweaking it, you already have loads that you can do with it. But what's more interesting is as soon as you go there. Uh, so, I wonder if the default can be brought back. Yeah, I'm bringing. So, what, what's interesting as soon as you open the tweak for me is there, there are two sides of it. There's the dynamic element of it, and then there is the, the kind of shape and rhythmic and, and, and almost sequencer, sequencing part of it. Um, let, let's see what I mean by that. So, First of all, we have this envelope, and it's kind of an envelope follower and can be used in envelope or gate mode. The idea behind that is it, di it dictates how those rate mode and depth mode. That means you can dynamically change the speed or depth based on the incoming signal. So that can be quite interesting. Um, let me demonstrate. So with the switch, you, you see the signal goes... That the red signal here shows you, so it helps you to kind of la, um, see where you need to put your threshold. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put it here roughly, and then we're going to start changing the rate modulation. Have a, have a look soon. So you see, because when it goes up, it follows the modulation, so it goes faster when it goes above the threshold. But as soon as the signal falls behind the threshold, below the threshold, pardon me, it slows down. Uh, and because I'm in envelope mode, it does it not straight away, but I can make an attack. That means how quickly it goes into it and a release as well. And I can affect on the mode. So by doing it that way, now you see what I've seen, what I've done. The signal goes above the threshold, it goes fast with a more, more depth. And then as it falls below the, the threshold, it slows down and becomes less intense, if you like. That's one example of how, how you can use the, the, the envelope follower, if you like. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. And then here you've got the gate. So with the gate, in the gate mode, it's on and off instead of being... Uh, there's no more attack and release, it's just above the threshold. So you see, there's no really a transition. It's quite, again, really, really interesting. So, you know, there, there's use for both. Finally, in the, in the section here, you've got a width, which makes a bit wider. In my opinion, what I found with the width is don't overdo it because uh, it seems to me that we're losing intensity when you do that. So I'm going to put my threshold back on here and I'm going to reset the mode. You see, you're losing the intensity. The more width you put, the less depth you're getting if you exceed a certain moment, I found. What I really like as well is you've got analog style. And as you know, sometimes I'm really into um, bringing that analog sound, you know. And here, you've got lots of different... Clean, a crunch, a shred, a pump, a squash, fat, dirt, output amp. I'm going out of sync because I didn't have my MIDI clock on. So that's your overhaul of it. So quite cool, really interesting. But now let's have a look here what's going on. So like we've said, well, we, we've looked, we've got loads of different presets. 
Uh, if we were, f if we were, for example, uh, to try some of those, uh, I think it has some. Yeah, let's see there. But then again, what I could do is. You see, I can shape. So the, the, the window here, the editor, the shape editor here is think of it as what's in here and then all that repeats per bit. So here I'm first shaping my, the shape of my... And you can really go more crazy. You could go completely square. And then you can create as many points as you want. And then suddenly you're getting into gate territory. So straight away here you're in that kind of gate territory. Uh, and here is the smoothness. So let's open a new there was another one which I thought was really interesting in terms of what it did. So you see here the shape, what it does. It goes down and all within one block. And then the smoothing makes everything more square. So, you know, straight away now we're, we're moving away from the kind of typical tremolo, tremolo effect that it's doing so much more than just being a tremolo. And now let's look at this grid here. I'm on eighth mode, I believe, and it's here you've got the number of bars, bit per bar, so in 4-4, four, four. Uh, and here it's showing, it's showing one bar, and here is the grid. So I'm going to show you what you can do. You can as well click in, some, in each instance, so the, the division, the grid is eight. So if I do that, I've got eight of those. You see, and, and the four remaining. So that means what you can do is start, you can start playing. Straight away, a lot more interesting, but what, look at what's happening here is, if I were to, let's say, putting it more, let's go on the 13 here. Maybe the wave is not the best to, exp to show that, so let's go for a sign. But then if I wanted another one here... Straight away, you, you, you know, you're getting something quite different. So you see what you can do with that. That's becoming already a, a lot more interesting. Um, and you can obviously draw the shape, load any shape in there. So that, that's quite interesting, and that's what I ended up doing. Uh, I'm gonna mute that now. And we, let, let's bring back our original parts. Um, here we are. Uh.
into it as well. So roughly this is uh, pretty much tremolator for you today. So you see there's lots of, really lots of potential here. Um, just to get lots of different shape and movement to your sounds. You can completely sequence the entire thing here. You can, you can draw your shape, you can do exponent, exponential stuff here. So for example, you know, that those kind of shape are becoming quite interesting. <laughs> You know, it's getting into this kind of reverse, backward things that you simulate with envelope and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's Tremolator. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, and I think you should, you know, I mean, obviously you've got LFO on your synth, you can do a lot with it, and when you, LFO on synth can obviously modulate much more than just the volume. But when it comes to a tremolo, you know, if you want to modulate, do a tremolo on your volume, that gives you so much really, really interesting options, uh, especially for audio, you know, uh, that, that really is a no-brainer for me. So if you want to, if you're interested, grab your copy before while well, well, there's still time. Uh, meanwhile, if you've got more questions, uh, you can post them into YouTube, Facebook, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer to you guys. Um, and uh, if, if you want to learn more into bad production, mixing, mastering, uh, we've got tour every Wednesday and Saturdays. We've got a tour uh, today at 5.30. Um, you can inquire and book, a, book, book an appointment for tours on our website, www.pawnblankmusicschool.com. Uh, also, bear in mind, we still have, we've just extended our 30% off deal for the online school uh, for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday until next Monday, 5th of December. So if you want to book an online course, now is the time as well. Meanwhile, uh, have a lovely evening, everybody, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.